Good morning, everyone. It's me again, Al Brown Spencer. Today is Tuesday, the 20th of April, 2021, and it is almost half past eight in the morning. And the situation is still the same. Uh, I am going to be uh, uh, doing the same thing today uh, that I do every day. I will be protesting in Bournemouth Square for a couple of hours or three hours uh, uh, in the afternoon. Uh, then I will be coming back to have lunch uh, then I will go out to leaflet in people's houses and uh, basically you know still the same situation uh, these cunts from the country where I was born uh, are persistent and they don't want to leave me alone and their equivalent cunts here in the UK are letting them or giving them free hand to do whatever they want and believe it or not, I withdrew the nationality of the country where I was born and I only have a British passport. And the authorities of the country where I was born still interfering in my life and still indirectly and undetectably controlling what's happening. Uh, the British authorities, as they did before and, and participated, facilitated and did to me what they did to me in terms of use, abuse, torture and human rights violations are still allowing it to happen. Uh, despite the fact uh, that I am trying my best uh, and trying asking people for help from every walk of life. Uh, my goals are still the same, to get my financial compensations, moral compensations, get these cunts punished, whether from the country where I was born or here in the UK, and literally leave the United Kingdom and restart my life in Castillo de la Plana in Spain. Uh, the authorities in the country where I was born, uh, it is their benefit, and I'm saying it again and repeating again, it is their benefit uh, and it's good for them that I am leaving the UK because that means any kind of obligation that they have in front of any good people in the authority, in the British authority, uh, they actually uh, can be untied from it and literally they can say oh the guy who doesn't want to stay here so in other words if they have anything in their mind in terms of uh, uh, you know objects to to give as a kind of compensation and so on that even relieves them from this and these cunts want to save every penny they can and they don't want to give me anything basically uh, these cunts are the worst horrible cunts you would ever come across in your life and I hopefully hopefully you will not because that means that they will do whatever they want to do to you uh, and literally these cunts don't want to lose anything whatsoever I am determined to get these cunts exposed and uh, to get them punished so I am relying on you to help me to to literally get these cunts exposed and if you think that you cannot help, you don't have any authority and you cannot help, uh, let me tell you, you do have uh, a big, 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 big authority, but you don't know it. The authority of your voice and your uh, effort and your will. If you gather and around me and support me and we become one voice, we will be able to expose these cunts and we will be able to change what they think is unchangeable and we can actually get them punished when they think they are untouchable and cannot be exposed and let me tell you these cunts think they are untouchable and they cannot be exposed because they live amongst us pretending to be normal people while in fact they are the ones running the business if you think that the people you see on TV and that are announced as you know government and so on are the ones who actually run the business and run the country you are not uh, uh, you know up to date in terms of how these cunts run their business because they put these people who appear on TV and so on as a front to be the government while they are in fact the ones that are running the business so in other words if you support me and join me in my quest to get these cunts punished and get these cunts uh, 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 exposed, we will do it and we can do it. And we are going to dig them out and literally save them from the, the community and get them out and be, get them punished for what they have done to me and other people and so on. 
it is unbelievable this is not a joke this is not a scam this is not uh, uh, you know someone deluded about it i mean until the moment i am actually videoing this i am actually being uh, poisoned and before you jump to conclusion and think oh this is the typical or a stereotype of a disturbed person or you know deluded or whatever i promise you this is what they do and this is what they use against people to take their credibility away and make them look like they are you know deluded or paranoid or whatever and i promise you when you know the truth about chemical agents that they put in food and drinks you will be amazed to know that they can target one single individual in a whole town that has zillions of stores yeah and they can target one single person and actually poison them 100 percent accuracy and this is what chemical agents they use and how they use it and so on it's an unbelievable story you have to know the truth you have to know the details to believe and understand what these cunts are capable of and even till the moment they are still dosing me and they are still poisoning me but again i am not gonna carry on talking about this over and over again because it's past this stage yeah they they are still poisoning me they are still interfering in my life they are still having cameras here in this uh, fucking shithole and they are still watching me listening to everything i say hacking my tablet my phone my emails my internet activity and they have their dogs and bitches and cunts everywhere manipulating them to do so so in other words nothing has changed but you can help me to change this if you believe in my genuinity and the genuinity of the uh, case i am trying to bring to the public and make them wake up and make them understand what these cunts are capable of and before you jump to conclusion there are people like you and me they are not gods they are not immortal they are not anything special they are people like you and me and they eat they drink they get ill and guess what they will die they are not immortal so we can annihilate them we can take them to court we can get them punished for everything they have done to me and everything that they could do to you or repeat it to me or anyone else and i'm saying so because i know for sure they can they did it to me and they can do it to anyone and before you even think oh but maybe they they are doing something good or they have a job and in, in you know to do so or whatever i promise you there is no justification on earth to justify hurting people if you hurt people you cannot say that you're doing it for good cause there is nothing called good cause to hurt people if you hurt people you hurt people that's absolutely evil doesn't ma make any difference even the worst people on earth the not most notorious people that done as many crimes and horrible crimes you would ever imagine not imagine you still cannot harm them you have to capture them or ca ca uh, catch them uh, red-handed and basically put them into a fair trial this is what should happen but these cunts they gave themselves the audacity to use their power use their own law use their own uh, courts in order to literally annihilate people and what they do they put you under accusation or they accuse you of things and they pretend and claim they cannot prove it but they are sure of it and this is when they can get authorities over you and literally use abuse and torture you on the name of trying to get the truth while they actually know the truth from a to z if they can monitor you 24 7 listen to everything you say see you even without you knowing so they don't need any more knowledge to know if you are doing something wrong or not yet people they don't you know say to people that they have these kind of you know surveillance and blah 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 while in fact they claim this person or this person or these people are you know under suspicious and they should be you know done whatever they do to them it's it's complicated people and in, it's unbelievable you have to get to know the details and then you judge yourself and you know yourself so please please get in touch if you can help i need your help i need your support in order to form a, a powerful voice that we can actually get these 
punished and get things changed for you and me and everyone. And before you jump to conclusion, I'm not someone just coming to, oh, let's make a revolution, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is serious. It's not something that, uh, you know, they might say this guy just want to have, uh, you know, fame or just money or whatever. I promise you, this is a 100% genuine case. I'm a genuine person and I'm determined. And I'm not going to give up the quest that I must take these people down and literally expose them and get them fairly trialed in the court of law for what they have done to me and what they have done to other people. And I promise you, I promise you, even ask a kid is harming people, okay? They will say, no, it's not okay. Imagine these fuckers are adults and they are in positions, they have authorities, and they still don't know that harming people is not okay, no matter what. And they actually harm people and saying, oh, is that's fair. How fair can you, how, how can it, could it be fair to harm people? I mean, if someone does something bad, put them in a fair trial, catch them red-handed, put them in a fair trial, and let the court say it's worth. No, they don't do so. They just do whatever they want. So please get in touch. Let's change things. Let's get, get these cunts punished, and let's get these cunts exposed, and let's get things changed better for you and me and everyone. And before you jump to conclusion, I am not seeking any kind of power or authority i'm actually trying to leave the united kingdom as soon as i can go restart my life in castillon de la plana away from any kind of authority away of any kind of power surveillance interference and so on just starting a new life away from these cunts and ba basically you know trying to be happy and enjoying life so please don't jump to conclusion get in touch support me i have a good cause I, this is 100% genuine case and I need your help. My name is Al Brown Spencer. I'm staying temporarily at room number 135 West Hill Road and that's born with BH25 uh, EG and my mobile number is 0746592053 and my email address is a for alpha dot b for bravo dot spencer at hotmail.com and I will be in Bournemouth Square this afternoon protesting, holding my sign and giving leaflet to those who are interested to know more about the truth. Uh, and you can approach me, you can talk to me, you can support. I am determined to get the truth out. I am determined to get my rights for what they have done to me, not just financially, but morally and freedom, privacy and human rights to be res respected and protected for the future so they don't repeat it to me again. Well, thank you very much for your time and I hope to be supported by you as soon as possible. Thank you.